Kohali for the second match of the seven match series between India and Sri Lanka in the Video Con Cup series. Sanat Jai Surya and Kumar Sangakara will open the innings. We'll change in batting order. Marvin Natapattu preferring to stay at number three this time around. And India just swapping with the super sub. Murlikarthi gets into the playing 11 and Srishant becomes the super sub, otherwise unchanged. Good afternoon, Ranjit. Yes, uh, very good afternoon to you, uh, Shiva, and uh, good afternoon to all our viewers, wherever they are. And um, the Sri Lankans, uh, they've uh, come up with uh, Nuan Soisa into their side. Got Nuan Soisa in their side, and Nupul Chandana has gone into the super sub uh, position, taking out Dilhara Lokuhetege, probably the, uh, the little bit of grass that is on the pitch, and... Uh, the fact that uh, this pitch might favor the seamers have, uh, has prompted the Sri Lankans to stay in with uh, three seamers. That's uh, Nuan Soisa, Dilara, Fernando, Chaminda Vaz, and they've also got Farabiz Maruf. The batting's the same, so this game is uh, certainly going to be a bit of a humdinger here. The crowds have come in their droves, and the atmosphere here absolutely electric. He's been batting quite well, Sandakara, going up the order. And two left-handers, Jai Surya and Sangakara, if they get going, it's going to be difficult for the Indian team. Yes, Shiva, the Sri Lankans have made a change in their batting order. They've uh, utilized the uniform Sangakara to go in first. Uh, also, probably as a reason that uh, Marvin Nathapattu has had a few problems with the ball coming into him. And uh, the two left-handers might be uh, a good ploy against uh, Irfan Patan, who really has been the man who uh, the Sri Lankans uh, fear most. Tan will start proceedings. Two slips in place. Game two underway. Really depends on which team grabs the initiative here. Very good conditions to bat. The Indians will have to bowl extremely well. First runs off the bat and Sri Lanka are off the mark. And so is Sangakara. Sangakara certainly has been the man the Sri Lankans have relied so heavily on in recent times. This time just pushes it on the offside. He's got plenty of time to play shots. And um, so Sri Lankans open their account with Sangakara picking up the single. Still the same field for Jay Surya. Two slips, three men in the ring on the offside saving the single. Very much conventional. Two on the leg, inside the ring. It's a deep fine leg as well. Big appeal. Was it too high? Billy Bar in the Empire. It's very wisely, uh, my friend Patan, just keeping the ball up to uh, Sanat Jaya Surya. Even the best of players find the moving ball a bit difficult earlier on. There you are, the height. That uh, went in favor of um, Jai Surya above the knee roll and Jai Surya on his toes, as you would see, and um, just not much movement from the crease. He's gone over the top, hasn't time to do it. The third man getting underneath it, and he's picked up a wicket. Irfan Patan picks up the all important wicket of Sanat Jai Surya in over number one. What a way to start for the Indians. Sri Lankans looking to cover as many as much ground as possible earlier now. Jaya Surya slashing at that delivery from in front of the ball, leaving the bat and slicing it to the man at the third man. He didn't really get hold of it properly. The ball was really not in the slot to be hit. And Jaya Surya making their, uh, the man under it. And there he was, simple catch. Sevak the catcher and Sri Lanka lose a very, very big wicket in Jaya Surya. Jaya Surya goes without opening the account. Sri Lanka lose their first wicket for one. He's found the gap. Sangakara in full flow is a treat to watch. That really was a fine shot. In fact, he waited on it. He waited for the ball to come into the bat and stroked it into the gap between the man at point and uh, just square of him. Right into the gap. Just both field is uh, watching it go through.
and he survives. And he Saka. in fact gets four runs, Ranjit for that. Yes, I think very, very lucky in fact. Uh, I think he just managed to get his bat down on time. End of the over, Sri Lanka 9 for 1. And Marvin Atapatu picks up a boundary as well. That should give him some confidence. That is the area that Atapatu is strongest. He loves it outside the off stump and that was short, waiting to be hit. And uh, Atapatu obliged. Very soundly hit. It certainly would give him confidence. He certainly needs a, a few shots like that. Dhoni picks up the catch low down, a good catch, and the Indians aren't ecstatic here. So the captain Marvan Atapattu departs for four, Sri Lanka 13 for two. And that's very fine, fine enough to get him out another boundary. Boundary number four for Sankakara. Agaga having problems with his line to the left-hander. Sankakara getting enough bat and um, getting it nicely fine. Sanatra Surya going without scoring and then the captain who came in at number three following. That's nicely played. Such a talented player, Mahila Jayawardana, just using the pace of Patania. And you can already see how quick this outfield is. No chance whatsoever for the man at fine leg. That's taken. Number three goes down for Sri Lanka. It's all threes at the moment. 33 for three, and this is a big wicket. Jai Vardana will have to depart. And the Indians at the moment on fire. A disappointed Mahila Jai Vardana walks away, and uh, Sri Lanka in deep trouble. Just spooning that uh, simple catch, came on the front foot. Tried to work it off his pads, didn't really come on to him. And the Jayavodhana pays the penalty. He's gone for seven off six. And the Sri Lanka certainly in deep trouble. 33 for the loss of three. Wrapped on the pass, the line is good. Oh, did he get some bad on it? That really travelled on uh, hitting the pad. But Jan Prakash, of course, uh, quite confident that uh, it was not out. But uh, Arnold certainly late on the shot. He was late on the shot in the last game, was bold. And uh, this time he's late again. Doesn't look like he got any bad on it. Certainly worth a shout. Two. but just seeing the surface uh, already I don't think the ball really is coming onto the bat as well as it normally does here it's a little bit on the slower side and I believe as the game progresses and uh, once this ball loses its hardness and shine it will get still slower Very nicely played, a shot of a batsman in form, you could see. He picked it up and worked it away from off stump. And as Ravi said, that's probably due to the slowness of the track. He had enough time to get back and take it from off and put it to leg. The 
again, good placement. It's such a quick outfield and he's running downhill. Sachin Tendulkar was struggling there as he was running uh, after the ball. Three runs comfortably taken. Was close. That's nicely played. Chase for Patan, but the ball wins. Once again, showing how quick an outfield this is. The 50 comes up for Sri Lanka. Oh, this is well played. Yes, that'll be a relief for Russell Arnold. Give him some confidence too. Was there to be chopped away and he did it nicely. Had faced 18 deliveries for three runs. And that boundary is certainly going to help him. No, oh, in the air. Just shot of Murli Karthik. India bowl extremely well. Difficult conditions could have well had another wicket. That was the near thing, it was in the air for quite the distance, almost reaching there. The man, Murli Karthik, on the line. Bit of an afterthought there, short, wasn't quite in position, Arnold, but went through with the shot. Fortunate for him that he didn't strike it better than he did. But India have done a fabulous job here. After fielding the needed early wickets and they've got them. Midon could come into play. Yes, Tendulkar. Another wicket. Sandakara dismissed. The Indians are on a roll. Well, this is disaster for Sri Lanka. Sandakara, the man in form, who's playing well. Again. Just can't believe it himself. I think it was again. A... Just not ready for that shot afterthought again the ball swung away from him couldn't quite control it spliced it straight into the hands of Tendulkar who's not going to miss these so Sangakara gone for 27 Sri Lanka 54 for 4 Tilak Ratne Dilshan New man in, a big appeal and he's given him! Bad first it was, the in swing up from Patan. Consecutive wickets and India can't do better than this. Winning the toss and deciding to bowl first. Amazing. It's just the movement in the air that the Sri Lankans are struggling to come to terms with. It's got nothing to do with the wicket, it's just the in swing, the pad going across and that was absolutely plump. Billy Bowden had absolutely no hesitation to adjudge that one as LBW. But to Patan's credit, he's bowling the right line. Dilshan also gone for zero. First ball. It's 54 for five now, Sri Lanka. Fariz Maruf, the new man in. He's got a lot of work to do, but Patan is on a hat-trick. Two Indian bowlers have done it before, Kapil Dev and Chetan Sharma. Both fast bowlers. Here's the opportunity for Irfan Patan. Two slips in waiting, but he's got to try and finish it on the stumps like Dilshan. I think his endeavour is going to be to curl it into the right-handed Maruf. Save it, in fact, gets off the mark, Farviz Maruf. This is a fast outfield, runs away to the boundary. So getting off the mark with the boundary is Farviz Maruf. Again an appeal. Was there a bit of inside edge? Was it too high? Enough element to doubt. The Indians are getting everything their way at the moment just too high 
going down the leg side as well. That's in the air as well. But that's going to fall safe. They'll get they'll get a couple. Very fortunate, Parviz Maruf was surprised by the short delivery from Ajit Agarkar. And was in no position to play the full shot. Lucky to survive, luckier to pick up two. Indeed, the ball just came into him much quicker than he anticipated. Then could be tight, directed. Dhoni doing extremely well. Bit of hesitancy on the part of the two batsmen. Dhoni very quick, very quick indeed. That could have been close, yes. Main of Gopal Rao was getting in the way. Man at silly point. And bat was in the air, directed would have had him. The outside edge going down the leg side and Rahul Dravid has not made any mistake there. So that is a terrific delivery. Russell Arnold walks back to the pavilion. It's six down. It's a great angle bowling from around the stumps. Harbhajan and Singh from that angle gets the ball to curve in to the left-handers. Great release. Look at the seam. Bit of curve. Batsman trying to play on the onside, closes the face of the bat a little too early. Doesn't get simpler for Rahul Dravid. He's safe as a church and Harbhajan is ecstatic. The local boy picks up an important wicket. Sri Lanka struggling, 71 for 6. Chamin Dabas wouldn't have expected to come into bat in the 19th over. But he's quite a handy player. Average is just under 15, 150 against his name. And he's got to bat well. Gets off the mark, Shamin Dawaz. Yudrat Singh, the man at point, and he slips down as well. Shamin Dawaz, the non strikers in. Well, he had another run if he wanted it, but he just slipped on that verdant area next to the wicket this is the wicket he got sucked into playing on the onside because the angle was into him played against the turn so there is turn that's evidence for you shiva that there is turn ideal way of getting a left-hander must be very gratifying for harbhajan as well as dravid okay, maru picks up a single also the field that you were talking about, the two men in the deep, was a deep square leg and a deep mid wicket and then there was a mid on. So there were wide open spaces for the single. This is exactly what Russell Arnold was looking at. That forced him to play against the spin and boy, was indeed delighted. It's quite a character, Harbhajan. And we need them in this game. More runs. This time for Vaz, and it's a boundary. 19 overs gone, it's 77 for 6. <laughs> Misunderstanding, direct hit. This could be trouble. Vaz walking back already. The middle stump has been knocked out of the ground. Flat throw by Ajit Agarkar. And the Indians at the moment can do no wrong. Number seven goes down. Three stumps to aim at. The center stump goes for a walk. And so does Vaas. 80 for seven. Lights uh, just beginning to take effect here in Mohali. Yes. Uh, Sri Lanka is still uh, in the shackles. Uh, they can't break free at the moment.
Well, Sri Lanka certainly would be looking to try and bat out these uh, 50 overs. We've got 25 more to go. And um, that's a big ask with just three wickets in hand. And if they do that, they could really get up to something like the 200. there for sure went to him very quickly Venu Gopal Rao is standing there well, once again turn pounds for Harbhajan Singh in lovely seam position as you see very much from the bat but went quickly to Rao put it down Nicely played by Upul Chandana, he'll pick up four for that. So that's some joy for the Sri Lankans. Very nicely put away short and that's uh, where it should have gone to the boundary. And on the Sri Lankan performance, I think uh, the batsmen, they played poor shots. Give full credit to the Indian bowlers, but uh, it's been poor batting from the Sri Lankans so far. That's again trying to play against the turn. It's a little slow turn, so it's not an easy shot to play onto the onside against Morley Karthik. We saw Russell Arnold do that against Hari Bajan and uh, snake it to slip. Chandana got a thicker edge, and that's what saved him. Two slips oh, waiting there. Yeah. That's the arm ball, and that's an appeal. It's also been taken, so there's no inside edge. Maybe the big foot forward. Bit of a doubt in the minds of the umpire. It was certainly headed in the right direction. Yes, uh, it was that big step forward and perhaps uh, just outside the off stump uh, as uh, it uh, knocked his pad. He's got it. Yadav has done it for India and Rahul Dravid. A 10 dismissal. Trying to force the issue. Maru just playing on the rise and straight into Yuvraj's hands at point. So number eight walks back to the pavilion for Sri Lanka. Perhaps frustrated uh, at the fact that he was not scoring runs. Maru trying to hit on the up, only able to find Yuvraj Singh and uh, Sri Lanka now 104 for eight. As Maru goes into the pavilion and uh, brings on the field. JP Yadav is on a hat trick. Very well bowled, over pitch, straight on to his feet, and he's got his man. A perfect delivery to bowl to a number 10 batsman. Yadav is all smiles, and why not? Luan Soiza coming in at the fall of the eighth wicket. Ball pitching right around Midland leg stump. So he's unable to get his bat to it. Ampaja Prakash uh, says yes. That's going to hit middle and leg stump. And uh, Noan Soiza walks back to the pavilion without scoring. And Sri Lanka now 104 for 9 wickets. Oh, that is a good hit to save the hat trick. Four runs. It's 108 for nine. That's in the air, but that'll get him runs. Harbhajan didn't pick it up. It wouldn't have mattered even if he did. That is a great shot. Played over extra cover. He made room for himself and got four for it. An, an, an unorthodox Morley, that's what he is. And it's not easy when uh, he's in this mood because you don't know where his feet are going to move and where he's going to hit the ball so it becomes very difficult for the bowler to direct it into a correct spot because he goes all over the place and hits the ball in different directions 
That's more runs. That's another boundary for Mulitharan. Using his feet, attacking Yadav. Down to the square leg boundary for four. That's exactly what I said. The first one he moved away, away from his stumps and hit it onto the off. Now he goes down this track and hits it onto the leg. Will unnerve any bowler and that uh, has given him two boundaries and this so far becomes the most uh, expensive over in this innings. They straight him up. What a performance by India this. 122 all out Sri Lanka. That's after Dravid won the toss and decided to field first. They meant business from the outset. What it also means is that India will bat before the break. Have a look at the crowd. This is how the last man was dismissed. Playing against the turn. Only should know better than anybody else. Turn and bounce, clipping the top of middle stump, and that's a spinner's delight. Arpajan is bowled extremely well. But, uh, a terrific team effort by India after they put the Sri Lankans in. Sri Lanka lost early wickets, never really recovered. This Jal Surya gone in the last ball of the first over, then Marvin Atapat with just a single boundary and his struggle was well caught by Dhoni. Low catch off the bowling of Agarkar. Jai Vardhale flicked a square leg, good easy catch from Venagopal Rao. Russell Arnold was deceived by a beautiful ball from Harvajit Singh, caught by Dravid in the slip. And then Parviz Maru was out there for a long time for his 18. And Chandana, the super sub being used, got 19. 10 extras, 122 in the 36th over. And a terrific bowling card for the Indians. Once again, Irfan Patan amongst the wickets. 8 overs, 4 for 37. Good support from all the other bowlers. Uh, Majid Agarkar, 1 for 27. Jay Prakash Yadav, he'll be happy with this effort. 2 for 32. And uh, Harbhajan Singh, I think, is bowling uh, better and better with every game, especially after having started bowling round the wicket to the left-handers. If you were Sri Lanka, let's take wickets. Nothing else. Forget containment. Men in catching position and call for broke. Yeah, the Indian batting destroyed the Sri Lankans in the first game. It's the Indian bowling now. So things looking good. And there's the duo. Huge roar from the crowd. Tendulkar and Seba. Tendulkar, another milestone. 350th one-day international for the little master. Three hundred and fiftieth match. And look at those stats. Average of just under forty-five. And strike rate eighty-six point two, the best of one eighty-six. Only a genius can achieve this. We still got a long way to go. Brenda Sevak will be the man who will uh, take strike. Seven hundreds, eighteen fifties. Uh, He's got off to starts uh, in recent times, but not carried on to make the big score. Great opportunity for the Indians here to make a huge dent into the psyche of the Sri Lankans. If they can win this game comprehensively, then it will take uh, something special from Sri Lanka to bounce back. Uh, he is... Uh, a class act. Reliable, solid, been around for a long time. And he'll be looking for some swing early on. Not quite surprising, they just started with a single slip and a short mid wicket. Just made the point, Ravi, that you've got to bowl the opposition out. This is a strange feel. Sebag will go at anything that is there to be hit. 
transfer to the second slip in place. Off the mark. And this is a fast outfield. And good work in the deep. Indians underway and so is Sebag. Yes, there's only one way he'll play. He'll look to be dominant from the outset. Now that is a boundary. India off the mark, not with two, but four. I think the third umpire not uh, being asked for there. If, uh, I think the third umpire can step in really on the walkie talkie and should be able to uh, get uh, Billy on the walkie talkie and tell him that that was a boundary. Yeah, the correction can be made, isn't it? Because uh, Sevak picked up two, he's still on strike. He's got to hold up that one. In the gap and into the boundary. Ten for no loss. The whole of India been very happy with the return of the little man, Tendulkar. They've been happier getting 93 in the first game. People here in Mohali will expect a good innings from him. And he's gone off the mark and strand. That's bang down the ground with immense power. It was in the air for a bit. Nice way to get off the mark. Nice confidence strike. Good to see uh, when Tendulkar hits with that power. And he hit it straight as well. Last ball at 131. And I'm sure it disappeared to the fence at 200 k's. That is a good hit. That's four. Short ball and he's gone for the pull. Sehwag this time. This pitch can be very unforgiving when it's short. And uh, Sehwag really has been waiting for the short one. And so he's uh, looking to try and dig it in. Really not getting that bounce. Sevag uh, making merry at the end. Well, Sevag is just the ideal batsman for these low totals. Sometimes these very low totals have a uncanny knack of actually stinging you. Stranger things have been known to happen in cricket. You sometimes tend to feel that you've got enough time not to lose wickets, play, you know, risk-free cricket. But Sevag, the situation doesn't affect him. He plays his normal game. Quite right, Arun. I think uh, totals like this uh, tend to, at times, uh, make you a little bit more defensive. But um, one gets the feeling that Sebag uh, continues to play in his own individual style. Field changes taking place. There's a deep square leg in position now. Final leg has come up. He's gone for it at this time. Final leg. And it's gone the distance. Six runs to Sebag. Fine leg had just come up, and that's where he played the shot. Nothing is holding Sevak back. There was a man down at deep square leg. There was a man down at deep final leg. And the short one, Sevak took it on. And uh, right over the man at uh, deep final leg. Brilliant hit. So he's going to play his own aggressive brand of cricket. 18 to him, just to 12 deliveries. This time he's gone over the top. Wide of third man, one bounce out. So four more for Seva. You turn ball short to him. Seva gonna roll. Man, so he's getting the treatment. He's been bowling short. He needs to try and keep it up. The Sri Lankans looking to try something different on Seva, but Seva certainly up to it. This time outside off stump and he punishes it through the offside. In there. That's his favorite shot. Doesn't try and keep it down. Very deliberately plays it over the top. Four more. There was nothing wrong with that delivery, Ranjit. It's just the mood. These two have decided that when they come into bat, they're going to attack. And things seem to be going their way at the moment. The crowd really going berserk. They're standing on the 
seats and uh, everything's happening here and it's now Tendulkar's turn just bashing at the delivery from Chamin Dabas it was in fact a good length delivery but that was uh, hammered through the mid-wicket region runs very deliberately played into the gap that's tremendous timing it might go all the way this is a fast outfield and it does not more than a gentle push but it's run all the way to the boundary so they're dealing in boundaries Tendulkar is through and through the offside just a then gentle push into the gap indeed no fine leg in position and Sachin has just paddled that fine for another boundary this is very very exciting stuff she artisted by the great Sachin Tendulkar that time pitched outside off stump just look at the way he just took it across dealt with in real artistic fashion well, the Sri Lankans um, really have their work cut out here oh that's been put down a difficult chance it was hit hard but it was in the air well Marvan Atapatu it is who got both hands to it but couldn't quite hold on is it went like a bullet past Atapatu Atapatu to his left really didn't have much time no foot movement at all but that was a cracker of a shot one so is a, his strength is movement and he should explore all possibilities of getting that more runs and that might run away for another boundary 50 up for the Indians at the end of the sixth 50 for no loss that's a great great record 386 wickets of 252 matches Seven for thirty. We'll need something like that today. Well, that's greeting Mulligaran. They're going to attack him. Sachin Tendulkar, so quick on his feet, reaches the pitch and a very, very straight hit. What a wonderful shot! But well, the Indians are wasting no time whatsoever. Even the great Mulligaran is taken on. This. Uh, no doubt would be a good contest but um, you would see the Indians uh, certainly having the edge for more a glorious off drive this is an absolute treat at the moment shot number one was over the top and the next one more along the ground getting to the pitch of it slightly in the air for a while but right into the gap boundary for Seva right from the meat of the bat and once again enormous power Seva this time going over the top again with a great deal of power not much movement to the feet but um, bat meets ball 33 Seva 31 Tendulkar he's gone over the top as well four more they are really turning on the pressure. 11 runs from the over. It's gone. 71 without loss. Oopsie. He's got his man. Maruf has got him. In two minds, Sevag with that big back lift, whether to go over the top or not. Changing his mind at the last instant. Only managing a very, very soft dismissal back into the hands of Parvez Maru. So Sri Lanka broken through. It's 80 for one. Yes, Maru's uh, persistence and good uh, line paying off. Rather soft dismissal from uh, Sevag. Maru picking up that uh, quad and ball quite easily. So the Sri Lankans uh, at least could tell themselves they've already picked up a wicket. Sevag goes quad and ball Maru for a well made 38. India 80 for one. 
down the track, gets hold of it. One bounce over the rope. And what's good to see, India not just going through the motions. They're, they know Sri Lanka on the mat. And they're just uh, driving home the advantage. Excellent views of the feet. He's a hungry boy, Harbhajan. He won't have to put his pads on, I would hope. Lovely shot. Superb placement as well. It wasn't all that bad a delivery, but it was struck on the up. And once again, what's the balance? Absolute beauty. Time it, but that will take Tendulka to another half century. And you can see what a difference he makes uh, to that Indian dressing room. Another top innings. The champion is back. No doubt about that. Yes, 43 balls and uh, 10 boundaries punctuating that knock of his. Zarabi said he didn't really get hold of it, but still it was in the gap and had enough legs to travel to the boundary. Salutes to the dressing room, another feather in the cap. Consecutive half centuries in the series, and he's certainly on fire. It bang down the ground, that's four. The 100 comes up for India. And that's come right out of the meat of the blade. <laughs> Maruf could hardly move. He had uh, just about completed the follow through when the ball just flew past him. Couldn't even get a hand to it. That was uh, time to perfection. And hit with tremendous power. Bhavadharan uh, is wanting to try and keep uh, Tendulkar quiet, at least one over. Sit it hard again. Great effort in the deep. Jai Vardhani, the man in the deep. It's difficult to pick up the ball with the low lights. Saved a certain boundary. Kept him quiet for two deliveries. Then he opens, opens himself out, a good stretch, getting right to the pitch of the ball. That was going like a bullet. Brilliant work down in the deep from Jayavodhana. Ah! Big appeal, Billy Darren thinks about it, and the cricket finger goes up. Mumbai picks up a wicket, his first on this tour. It was the Dusra again. It also brings up the 50th wicket for Murli Dharan against the Indians. It pitched around leg stump. That certainly was the Dusra. And uh, Murli just screaming his appeal. And umpire Billy Bowden this time says yes, it's uh, going on, possibly to hit the leg stump. And so Yadav, after 19 deliveries and making 19 runs, Goes back to the pavilion. India then 115 for two. Big appeal. Sangakara is convinced. Tendulka stands his ground. Billy Barrett unmoved. The expression on the fielders is that it did touch Billy Bowden. The smile on his face says no. It looked like it brushed the glove on the way. And he answers it this time. Going straight down the ground. Picking up a run. Remaining not out at 67. It's yet another emphatic win for India over Sri Lanka.
We've done it again. This time winning the toss and deciding to bowl first. Bowled out Sri Lanka for 122. And they've got there for the loss of two wickets. Very happy bunch of young cricketers. The Indians, Sri Lankans will be disappointed with the routing. But the crowd gathered in big numbers would love this Indian victory. They needed it and they've got it. 123 was the target. They got there without any problem. Seva getting 38. Tendulkar and Seva putting on 80 for the first wicket. Tendulkar remaining unbeaten with yet another good knock. 70 coming up just 69 deliveries. Yadav promoted at number 3 to get some practice.